today we are looking at SATS, which is a grade 11 syllabus. So we're going to look at actually SATS, um, a form of writing exponents, but a special kind of exponent. Uh, the base is A and the exponent is in a fraction form. So when an exponent is in a fraction form, it can be written in a SAT form. So when you write it, you write the SAT, the radical sign, and then the base, and then the numerator of the exponent becomes the power, and then the denominator becomes the, you write it there. So you can write any number in that form. Let's take an example. If we have a 2 to the power 4 over 2. So when you write it in a sad form, you're going to write a 2 to the power 4. Right. Now, when you have a denominator as 2 and you're writing it in a sad form, you remember here we wrote the n there. When it's a 2, we write nothing. So when you see a radical that doesn't have anything there, it means it's a 2. So let's sort, sort this thing out and see what's the answer. 2 to the power 4 is 16 and the square root of 16 is 4. So this is how it's done. We're going to look at um, a different example and see how you go about. Let's take an example. When you have for example, 2 to the power 17, a to the power 14, and b to the power 13, right? When, we, when the instruction will say simplify the sat, you remember when there's nothing there, there's a 2. So you're going to do your exponent to be in a power of 2 because when you, do, you have to divide by a 2. So when there's nothing there, there's a 2. Now, you're going to use... Reverse law 1 of exponent. 2 to the power 17. 17 is 16. 16 is a, is a factor of 2. So you'll have 16 and 1. Reversing law 1 of exponent. Power 14. 14 is a factor of 2. So it's not a problem. But B will have B to the power 12 times B. Because b is b to the power 1. So we split it to 12 to a 12 and a 1. Right? Then, when we have 2 to the power 16, when we divide 16 by 2, you get 2 to the power 8. And then that 2 will stay under the radical because you can't divide. 1 is not a factor of 2, the 2 that supports you there. And then you have a to the power 7. You'll have b to the power 6. And then under the radical, you'll have a 2 and a b so that's how you simplify that let's look at another example now with this example we're gonna have a different we're gonna have a three so if you have x to the power 11 and y to the power 7 so what you want with your powers you want your powers to be factors of three to be multiples of three so here I'll have, don't forget to write the 3, I'll have x to the power 9 and x to the power 2. 9 plus 2 will give you the 11, will it? Yes, it would. And then we have y to the power 6 times y to the power 1. Right, now, according to that rule, we're going to divide the 9 with a 3. 9 divided by 3 will give you 3. And then we're going to divide the 6 with a 3. Then we get y to the power 2. Then what will be left inside the radical is x squared and y. So this is how you do it. So I want to look for, look for a typical exam question that you will get. This is a grade 11 question so i'm going to use one of the examples that i got from a previous paper grade 11 and then we see how we go about solving that using the sats right um 
when you look at question papers you you usually see this question they give you two to the power two zero one one divided by two to the power two fifty three point nine two to the power two point nine Right, the first thing that you need to remember to remember Greek levels is that you can't cancel things out because you have terms. When you have terms in any form, what you do, you try and take out a common factor. Now we see that the lowest power that we have is its exponent is 29. It's 2009. So if you can make this 2009, our work will be much easier. So we'll have 2 to the power 2009 plus 2 to the power 9, 10, 11, 2 divided by this one will be 2 to the power 2009 times 2 to the power 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 2 to the power 4 minus the 2009 one is 5, 2009. Now the numerator it's 1, 10, it's 5. But the denominator, we have two terms. We have to take out the common factor. So with the numerator, we leave it as it is. Eh, I forgot to write equal signs. Because it's an expression, we have to write the equal sign. Here we'll have 2009. And then we'll have 2 to the power 2 divided by common factor here is square root of 2 to the power 2009 right if i take 2 to the power 2009 i'll be left with the square root of 2 to the power 4 but here if i take 2 2000 square root of 2000 2009 as a common factor to get this back i will multiply it with a 1 now that will cancel that and then in the numerator i'll be left with a 2 square root of 4 2 divided by square root of 2 to the power 4 we give divide the 2 with a 4 I'll get 2 to the power 2 minus 1 2 divided by 2 to the power 4 is 4 minus 1 so I'll get 2 divided by 5 so this is normally 3 4 marks in an exam and it's not that difficult if you practice 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 you get it right this is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.